So, I apologize for my absence as of late, but I have kind of been on the mend. I made a comment about the fact that I had my throat throat and stuff like that lately. And come to find out, I actually am going to need a tonsillectomy. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> All my life I've had like really huge tonsils and like I'll spare you the gross details, but like they kind of just collect stuff, so to say. There's really nothing else that you can do for it. But remove them and I have my thoughts and feelings about that and I'm a very like naturalistic type of person and I really enjoy having um not medical interventions and procedures. <laughs> but this is something that has been giving me trouble for a couple of years and makes it difficult to like breathe and swallow and stuff like that. So answers, yay. That means I'll be like kind of out of commission for like two weeks, so Ooh. <laughs> I'll do my best though. Because I know that all of you really enjoy watching these videos and I enjoy making them for you too. So on to today and what I'm going to talk about today. Keep your attention because today is a very important topic about comparison and what that does to us when we start comparing ourselves to other people. You know, I personally have dealt a lot with comparison mine in my life. You know, I, if you've seen in my other videos, I talked about, you know, when I was like 16, I was like anorexic and like, you know, I thought it was really cool to, you know, hurt my body because I was trying to like compare it to other people's and trying to, you know, be something that I wasn't. And it's very difficult because in today's society, we all are trying to, you know, get to some eventual destination, right? We're trying to be something, we're trying to do something, we're trying to become something more, become something different. But what that does, like that, and like consistent eternal pursuit does, is just wear us down and makes it a lot more difficult for us to enjoy ourselves here and now and enjoy the process. You know, you hear that phrase a lot. You know, it's the journey, not the destination. And that's really true. Because we're never going to end up where we're wanting to go. Because there's always going to be more places to go, more things to see, more people to meet, more things to do, more people to be. Like, that kind of thing. Life is constantly, constantly unfolding and changing. And all of the different things and sites and places we go, like, that's never ending. But what is constant and eternal is our relationships with ourselves. And if we're constantly in conflict with each other, like the self and self, <laughs> there's never really any room for enjoyment in your life. And you never really are able to fully open to the experience of life. Like even, you know, right now, me being at odds with myself about like my tonsils and everything, and everything that that has to do with it's just kind of difficult and i understand that because i totally feel for you you know this has kind of been a little bit of a thorn in my side and it's been making life a little bit more challenging and difficult than it otherwise would be because you know it's making my my head kind of a little bit foggy and making it a little bit harder to get things done that i'd like to get done but in the same vein I have to remember that, you know, this is my journey. Everybody else's journey is their journey. And I can't really compare my journey to anybody else's because they haven't been where I've been and I haven't been where they've been. So everything is in its due time. And we all just need to remember that and not fret if we're not where we think we're supposed to be in comparison to everyone else. Okay? So take that message and try to apply it. I know it sounds trite, but because I'm the first one to admit that I've been the most stubborn and like resisting that message, it's so easy to just slip back into comparison mind. So try your best and you know, just remember that nobody has been where you've been and nobody will be where you are right now. So. 
just take it with a grain of salt and do your best to stay afloat and not be so hard on yourself. Okay, so if you are interested in seeing more of these videos and being a part of my team, you can click the link below and get in contact with me. And I'll touch this with you tomorrow.